right, so if any of you have words of knowledge, um, you're welcome to come up. Um, what we like to do is just ask God what he is highlighting today, and we believe that he still heals today, and that's really, really good news. We're really excited about that. So this morning, we're just going to share what we feel like God is sharing with us about healing, um, physical, and also um, there could be some emotional things that God wants to heal, which is a miracle sometimes, right? Yeah, those emotional things that God wants to restore. It's awesome. So as you hear these things called out, um, you can just <clears throat> hold on to it, and then we're going to ask everyone who has one of those to stand, and then we're going to pray for you all at the same time, okay? Back pain, uh, headache, um, cancer, uh, possible ovarian cancer, and I heard lupus. Okay, cool. Uh, social anxiety. I, I just felt like uh, there's like a, a, uh, that feeling in your chest that kind of gets you in, in large crowds or sometimes when it's not even there. So I... Okay, great, thank you. Did you have something? Do you have some? No? Oh, it's okay. No, I am not, okay. Um, all right, so if any of those mean something to you or someone that's really, really close to you, like a child or someone that's really like close to you as a friend, um, we've had lots of people that have stood in for that person and that person has been healed by your belief that God wants to heal them just by you standing up. So if that's one of um, these that was spoken out relates to you or someone that's really close to you, can you please stand? And this is just for us to say, all right, God, I'm trusting that you're going to be faithful to what you've spoken out, what you've revealed. All right, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to pray. So um, if there's something that you could test, um, Chantel said back pain. So, hey, <laughs> let's try those out, okay? Let's just believe for God to heal backs this morning or anything else. Just pay attention to that part of your body, okay? Father, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you that we're standing on your word. God, it's not our word. It's your word that we're resting on. And we thank you that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. So come, reveal yourself, God. Show yourself for who you are in our bodies this morning. I just command backs to be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for full mobility, for any swelling to go down, any herniated discs to be restored. God, I thank you for any pinched nerves, for that to be released, God. For any joint pain, I just speak to that to be healed right now in Jesus' name. God, anything else that was spoken out, we come against lupus. Father, we thank you that you designed our bodies to process the environment around us in a perfect way. So we just align ourselves with that truth right now in Jesus' name. And for any of the social anxiety, God, I thank you for the ability to take deep breaths and just to release all of the things that we're holding on to and agree with your best for us. In Jesus' name. All right, so if that's something that you can test, if it's a back thing, if you want to just bend over, many people are healed as they try it out. So go ahead and do that. All right, any of you sensing anything? It could be a physical sensation or that you can't find the pain or whatever. If you want to just wave your hand. Yay, that's awesome. What happened, Donna? I can feel my body stretching out from where the pain was. Yay, that's so good. What happened? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Yay, that's awesome. Thank you, God. So um, as you go out from this place, if there's anyone that was up here that spoke out something that relates to you and you want to get some more like one-on-one -on -one prayer, feel free to go to that person. Um, but we just believe that God is so good. So he wants to meet with you today. And Katie, you ready? All right, come on over. So you probably noticed Katie was um, painting up here this morning. We love to see what God wants to do through creativity and music and in art. And so, um, Katie, if you want to just share about this picture, and then um, we want to give it to someone that's here today. Okay? Thank you. Thanks, Pastor Micah. Um, so I'm going to have to just finish it for like 10 minutes, but it's almost done. <laughs> uh, the, the painting is a whitish flower on a black stem, so it's a bit, uh, oh, what's that word? Contradictory, close enough. And uh, it's not the word I wanted, but close enough. No. <laughs> uh, it, 
paradoxical, I think that was the word I was looking for. Yes. And um, because, you know, black is usually kind of like related to death and die. Like, if, you know, a plant dies, it turns brown and black and stuff. But so um, there's a verse in the Bible, I think it's in Isaiah 50 something, um, talks about God taking the death and ashes in your life and making them into life and beautiful things. And I think that's the message of the painting. And it is for Michelle and her uh, children. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so Michelle, hold on. I'm going to see. I think that's Isaiah 61. Um, my phone's loading at technology. Okay. Because I want to read that over you. Um, make sure. Giving them a garland instead of ashes. Is that close enough? That's totally close enough. Okay. All right, so um, this is a promise of God on Jesus that he read when he came to earth in physical form. You can read about it in Luke chapter 4. And when he read this, he closed the book and said, this is fulfilled day today in your hearing. And what we take that to mean is that as we step out and as we walk with Christ, that what is spoken here through the prophet Isaiah in chapter 61, is part of our calling as well. And so um, what I see for this is a twofold thing, that this is a calling for you, what I'm going to read out for you to do in other people's lives, but it's also something that God has given to you to walk in for you personally. So um, for any of you that feel like these words are like stirring something up in your spirit, just say yes. Like, God, that's what I want. God, thank you for your words. And that's totally fine, okay? This is interactive with you and God. It's not just um, only for Michelle. So I'm just going to read this out. If you want to close your eyes and let Holy Spirit just minister to something in you, that's totally awesome, okay? So Michelle, the spirit of the Lord God is upon you because the Lord has anointed you to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent you to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn to grant to those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of fainting. So they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. Then they, the people that you've poured into that have been transformed, then those people will rebuild the ancient ruins. They will raise up the former devastations and they will repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. I'm skipping to verse six. You will be called the priests of the Lord, you will be spoken of as ministers of our God. You will eat the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will have a double portion, and instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Everlasting joy will be theirs. So let's just extend our hands out as a symbol of blessing over Michelle. And we're going to pray for this to be rooted and grounded in love in her heart. So Father, we thank you for your choice, your anointing, your yes over Michelle, just like you had a yes over what Jesus stepped into and now is releasing to Michelle. God, we thank you for that anointing, that yes, in Jesus' name to restore the brokenhearted, to give them a garland, to adorn them with beauty for ashes. And we thank you for all that you've already done, and we just ask for more, more. And I just hear us all saying, more for Michelle in Jesus' name. So let's say that together. More for Michelle in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Katie. Feel free to just finish that as you're working. All right, so those that are new faces to us, we are at Convergence Center is a 